Taylor Swift unveils her new album during the Grammys, Tortured Poet Department. Taylor Swift set the Swifty world on fire when she announced her new album, The Tortured Poets Department, during the Grammys on Sunday. I want to say thank you to the fans, Swift said while clutching her Grammy for pop vocal album. By telling you a secret that I've been keeping from you for the past two years, which is that my brand new album comes out on April 19th, Swift made the statement after winning her 13th Grammy for Midnight's. The new album's artwork is a black and white photograph of Swift resting on a bed. According to Swift's website, her 11th album will comprise 16 tracks, including the bonus track The Manuscript. Swift tweeted a photo of a folder open to a page with her handwriting immediately after her acceptance speech. And so I enter into evidence, my tarnished coat of arms, my muses, acquired like bruises, my talismans and charms, the tick, tick, tick of love bombs, my veins of pitch black ink, all's fair in love and poetry. Sincerely, Chairman of the Tortured Poets Department, Swift's website crashed just hours before the 66th Annual Grammy Awards, with the message error 321 by Ken Fetch failed. Fault 321 is a communication fault that may display on a fax machine with a bad phone line connection. There was also one random line in bold, H. Nierigid. Online sleuths have unscrambled it to reveal red herring. The term red herring refers to a clue or piece of information that is, or is intended to be, misleading or distracting. This spurred the internet to investigate the website's coding, where one developer discovered many terms in various languages translated as chairman, bruises, veins, cadence, apple cake, talisman, love bombs, muse, ink, evidence, and fake. These words describe the new album's look, which is reminiscent of a black and white 1950s police detective show. As Swift embarks on the first leg of her 2024 era's tour in Japan, the internet will continue to reveal Easter eggs.